the Mozilla Foundation is hosting a conference at a resort in Zambia to promote feminist, decolonial, a LGBTQIA plus climate justice using artificial intelligence. <laughs> it's so that is so many, so many horrific woke buzzwords that it made my brain just slowly ooze out of my ears. And all of this is happening days, just days after we learned that the Mozilla Foundation has laid off or is laying off 30%, fully a third of their entire workforce. <laughs> so apparently they're not that worried about money because... If you can throw money away on feminist, decolonial, LGBTQIA plus climate justice using AI, I, I'm thinking you've got a lot of money to, to spare. They're also going to be focusing on Marxism and anti-capitalism at this Mozilla event. This is not a joke. This is absolutely a real thing. This is called MozFest or Mozilla, the Mozilla Festival. It runs from November 20th through 21st. If you go to Mozilla Festival, Dot org. You can get all the details on this. It's being held at a resort, a very fancy resort in Zambia. And I'm going to read for you a couple of choice quotes from my absolute favorite session being held at this conference. And lest you think I'm simply cherry picking the one session that has any of these words in it, I invite you to go check out their schedule of events. There are Oh, so many that are absolutely delightful. This one just made me laugh a little bit more than the others. There's a session there called Co-Creating a Feminist AI Alliance for Climate Justice. Check out, check out the opening paragraph here. And as you read, as I read through this, bear in mind, again, this organization just laid off a third of its staff because they are facing a, a terrible uncertainty where they may just not have any income coming in in the next couple of months, thanks to lawsuits against Google and the like. So let's let's read this. Let's read this quote. This session invites participants to co-create a feminist AI alliance for climate justice, focusing on Zambia as a regional hub. OK, you need you need a regional hub for your AI feminism. We will explore how AI technologies can be utilized to help foster ecological resilience while considering power imbalances and historical injustices. Now, here's, here's where it gets into the buzzword overload of craziness. Using feminist decolonial and regenerative approaches we aim to envision what such an alliance could look like that supports community rooted ai technology centering marginalized communities particularly women lgbtqia plus individuals and indigenous groups disproportionately affected by climate change i'm not going to go into all the details of all of those particular words, but uh, that was a giant ball of, oh my gosh, crazy soup. Uh, scrolling down here a little bit though, one of the bullet points jumped out at me because it had some things in it that I was not aware of before. So I'm gonna read this to you now. Key guiding questions slash prompts include, and this is their first bullet point here. How can we apply the feminist principles of the internet, which is all capitalized, so that's a thing, right? The feminist principles of the internet, I didn't know that was a thing, and quote, permacomputing principles to advance climate justice in the African-centric AI space. Okay, all right, so permacomputing, feminist principles of the internet, what's this? I, I did not know. I did not know. You might know. I did not know. I'm going to show you what these are because I had to look these up. If you go to feministinternet.org, you can find a PDF download that is a couple pages of the feminist principles of the Internet. And it's um, 
it's weird. It, some of it is fine. Like it's got like like a whole bunch of, of numbered points. It's got 17 points on them. And and some of them are, are fine. Uh, some of them are just are just real, real strange. Uh, uh, for example, um, one of the key points, their key goals of the feminist what is it? The feminist principles of the Internet, which was written back in 2016. Um, is access to the internet. A feminist internet starts with enabling more women and queer persons to enjoy universal, acceptable, affordable, unconditional, open, meaningful, and equal access to the internet. I mean, so, that's a lot of adjectives going on there. <laughs> but I didn't know... I didn't know that, that we, were, we were saying that people who identified as women... <laughs> which is a weird phrase, uh, weren't allowed on the internet. Like, I didn't know that was a thing. Apparently, they feel like that's a thing. Um, uh, we support unrestricted access to information relevant to women and queer persons, particularly information on sexual and reproductive health rights, uh, health and rights, pleasure, safe abortion, access to justice, and LGBTQ, LGBTQ, whatever, issues. Uh, this includes diversity in languages, abilities, interests, and context, and, and it, go, it goes on from there. Um, it seems like it's not so much about old school feminism. It seems more about uh, trans related rights and some it, 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 it honestly, I found the whole purpose of it confusing. It read like an angry rant to me. So I, I figured that out. I'm like, OK, so that's the feminist principles of the Internet. It really doesn't seem like it has a whole lot to do with feminism. The things they were asking for in it, like we need we demand access to the Internet. They clearly have because they posted it on the Internet. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know, like, we well, don't go on to say, uh, Facebook and say, I demand access to Facebook. I will not rest until I have access to Facebook. He said in a Facebook post, like that, that's ridiculous, right? So that's, that's what the feminist principles of the internet are, is that they demand access to the internet. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> go for it. But perma computing, what the heck is perma computing? Perma dash computing. Now, I read that and I thought, well, that sounds great. Permanent computing. <laughs> I like that. Maybe it's about like, I don't know, computers that uh, are repairable, right? Right to repair or something like that. So I, I looked it up at permacomputing.net. And oh my gosh, is it not that at all? Um, so uh, permacomputing is an anti-capitalist political project. I'm, uh, this is their quote. They, they have a, a, a from the front page of permacomputing.net. Permacomputing is an anti-capitalist political project. It is driven by several strands of anarchism, decoloniality, intersectional feminism, post-Marxism, degrowth, Ec ecologism, ecologism, ecologism. That's a really hard word for me to say, apparently. Uh, Burma computing is an it's also a utopian ideal that needs a lot of rethinking, rebuilding and technical design work. <laughs> I don't know. It's it basically as I was reading through it, it mostly seemed like pseudo Marxism was the goal and anti capitalism and uh, not so much feminism, but LGBTQIA plus like woke uh, agenda stuff. That's mostly what I saw in here. I didn't see a whole lot of what I was expecting. I was expecting like real, like, I don't know, right to repair as the core of it, but that's not it at all. It's just anti-capitalist, pro-Marxist, um, uh, uh, degrowth, degrowth, so less growth, uh, and decoloniality. It's, I, I, okay, all right. So that's that's happening. So what's crazy about all this to me is they're hosting this Mozfest, Mozilla Festival, House Zambia, they call it. It uh, it, at just like in less than two weeks, they're flying people to Zambia. To stay in a resort, not a cheap resort, now, lest you think, oh, they're holding it in Zambia because it costs less money or something like that. No, no, no. It's an expensive resort. <laughs> like it's it, like like the cost for the hotel rooms are what you'd pay. I, I don't know. In Seattle, Washington, like it's not <laughs> or at least it's pretty close. It's not it's not cheap. It's a fancy pants resort. So they're going to a swanky, fancy resort with multiple parties where they are going to be, uh, 
uh, focusing on feminist, decolonial, LGBTQIA climate justice using artificial intelligence. Now, how you use artificial in intelligence and combine it with feminism, uh, decolonialism, and LGBTQIA plus blah 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 to fight cl for climate justice, I don't, I don't know. That makes no sense it th honestly this all reads like a giant ball of crazy but they're spending a whole lot of money that they could have spent not laying off people in order to promote it uh and most of the most of the the sessions that they've got going on are like we've got an idea here about uh decolonial climate justice using ai let's think about what that might be like they don't actually have an idea about it they, these aren't sessions where they're like okay we've got this uh here's how it's being done here's a white paper and best practices on it and here's a step-by-step -step guide no 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 no. it's like let's just talk about what the heck what the heck climate justice using ai with feminism decolonialism marxism anti-capitalism and lgbtqia rights what does that look like when you smash it all together and make sort of a goulash what's that what's that smell like <laughs> So they're flying everyone to a resort in Africa to do it. Oh, Mozilla Foundation. You're the mozilla -iest, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you to the Mozilla Foundation for continuing to provide joy to me uh, almost every week. Almost every week they do something like this that makes me go, oh my gosh. I thought they couldn't get any more mozilla -y than they already were. And shazam, here they are. Uh, you may be asking yourself before we head off, what does any of this have to do with web browsing or the internet? I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. I really can't tell you. But then again, I, I've been telling you guys, Mozilla, the makers of Firefox, they're not about web browsing anymore. That's not what they do. They're they're a political organization that where their politics don't even make any sense. I'm not saying I don't agree or agree or disagree with their politics. I'm saying the politics don't make any sense. Like it, you can't read through. Um, I'm gonna have feminist, decolonial, regenerative, LGBTQIA climate justice using artificial intelligence with an overtone of anti-capitalism and post-marxism like that doesn't make any sense that is just an an illogical hodgepodge of crazy just jammed into a blender poured into a cup and you force someone to drink it and say it's health food like it's nonsense it's utter nonsense so i i have no idea that where where mozilla foundation is going with this i couldn't begin to tell you because it's just too utterly crazy but we will see more layoffs soon because they're spending all their money on whatever this is. Also, thank you to the Lunduk Journal subscribers, lunduk.com, where you can get the podcast feeds and the video sites to check it out. We're on a whole bunch of different sites, a whole bunch of different places where you can get most of the shows. If you want to get absolutely everything, including the articles and all that other stuff, you want to go to lunduk.locals.com. Again, those links are on lunduk.com. They're all there. Thank you to the subscribers for making all this possible. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a glorious day. Nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare and broadcast.